Welcome back to How to Play Eldfall Chronicles, a mini-series that will teach you the core rules of the game. Today we will go over the preparation process the players need to do before each game, which can be summed up in three steps. Select your quest, select your party, and set up your table. First off, players will need to select a quest for your party to go on. There are many different quests, ranging from story-driven quests that are connected and create a narrative, to one of quick challenges for you to face your friends in. Quest selection will also determine the number of players, since not all of the quests are designed to accommodate a single player or multiple. So pay special attention to the number of players and instructions of the quest for the recommended number of players for that quest. Each quest has its own unique victory condition, and you should be aware that violence will not always lead you to victory. For further details on the quests, you should take a look at the quest section in the core rulebook. With the quest selected, players need to determine game size. Eldful Chronicles uses a system of recruitment points in order to keep parties of different players on an equal footing. Game size is the number of recruitment points both players receive to then spend on the recruitment of models for their parties and purchasing extra equipment for their party members. We recommend starting the game with games of 60 recruitment points, which should give you a balanced game. Once you're comfortable with this, we recommend to increase your games to 65 points, which will open a lot more building options, especially in the upgrade department. Once the game size is agreed upon, both players need to create their individual parties. To create a party, you need to first select your faction. At the moment, there are four different factions to choose from each with their own lore and playstyle. With faction selected, you can now spend your recruitment points to recruit models from your faction, or models that have a pouch of gold symbol on their card, representing their mercenary affiliation. Eldful Chronicles is a miniature war game. That means that it uses miniatures to represent warriors on the field. Each player will use their own party of three to four models that they will command and lead on quests. Each miniature has its accompanying profile card that explains model's capabilities. A profile card and a miniature together form a model. We will learn more about profile cards in the next video. Once you have selected your models, you need to select one of them to be your party leader. You should pay attention to models with stratagems as, and usually strive to bring at least one as they make the most effective leaders. Each model can also bring one upgrade should you have enough recruitment points left over. Upgrades add or modify abilities of your models and allow you to make each of your parties unique in their abilities. And with parties selected, there is only one more step before you can start playing a game and that is to set up your battlefield. For a most balanced gameplay, we recommend you use a 3x3 three three foot area on which you should set up your terrain to act as obstructions and vantage points for your models. This terrain will impact the game, where larger quantities of it will reduce the effectiveness of ranged attacks and increase the ability of melee combatants to close in with their enemies, and vice versa for less terrain. If you bought Elfful Chronicles core box, you have enough terrain in the box to make a balanced table. For now, you should keep in mind that the terrain will change the dynamic of the game and we will go into more details what makes a balanced gaming table in the future. This will be all for today. Thank you for your attention and see you next time.